thank you so much for tuning into my channel today i'm going to show in a video how i'm going to make a little diaper cover which i'm going to use during newborn sessions because uh, in my studio the babies wear their diaper um, i think the babies look just as lovely with their diaper on because you won't see the diaper i use cute little outfits or i use wraps and blankets to cover the diaper and then i can just go on with my poses i don't have to uh, change up everything like all the layers on the beanbag after the baby has a little accident because they say that newborns like they have little accidents pretty much every 20 minutes i don't know if this is true but that's what i heard so i can imagine that when you're in the middle of a pose and the baby has an accident you might have to lift up the baby change all the wraps the blankets the baby was lying on and then start all over again with a baby who is wide awake uh, and try to do that pose again you know wait for the baby to fall asleep first so because the babies wear their diapers i can just go from one pose to the next to the next to the next and my sessions last about two hours sometimes even shorter like an hour and a half uh, really depends on how long if there's a feeding in between and how long that takes because I can just go on from the beanbag to like bucket poses to props to flocadis to family poses sibling poses and the baby just keeps their diaper on of course if they had a big accident we might change the baby because we don't want the baby to get a rash or feel uncomfortable with a dirty diaper but um yes they wear their diaper oh also to me it just feels nice the baby's protected the private areas are not showing in any photos uh, not by accident i can imagine that when parents have like those lovely photos of their newborns and they want to hang them in their home they feel proud of that photo the newborn you know gets older turns four or five years old has friends coming over to play at his home he doesn't want a photo of himself naked hanging on the wall with his friends watching that photo so Instead, there could be a photo on the wall of him as a baby wearing his diaper and a little outfit. Um, so yes, but in some outfits you notice the diaper because the diaper is white and some outfits are a little bit see-through. Some are with lace, some just, you know, you don't want to see the diaper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little diaper cover out of this like lycra material. This is actually, I'm going to upcycle this top because I'm not using it. It's made of like this really stretchy lycra material. And I'm just going to cut out like the shape of like a diaper. I have a little diaper here. It's just going to be experimenting to see if the size is okay. I have two newborns coming in today. First a little girl and then a little boy. The first session starts in like 25 minutes. So I don't know how far I'm getting. I'm going to sew it by hand. So... Here you have the items that you might need, a sewing kit, um, some kind of romper to see what the size should be like. So I have two little rompers here and they kind of match up. So I'm going to make my diaper cover just a little bit smaller than the romper so the diaper cover doesn't show. Here I have like a diaper size zero just to give me like an idea of how big it should be. Um, so I'm just going to lay that on top of here, then I'm going to... Uh, cut it out and then sew the sides together and the bottom part together um, so yeah let's go I have my base um, so I'm gonna of course have it inside out and then sew the sides together and sew the bottom part together it's very stretchy material but I don't want it to be tight with the baby so I think just the size of the romper should be fine. And then of course, any little holes for the legs. As you can see, I'm not using like a special pattern. So don't ask me <laughs> for a pattern because I'm not using one. I'm just doing it the way I think it could be. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it doesn't have to be super the same like it's not the same right now but anyway i think this one makes sense i just have to close this part and this part so yeah the good part of having the babies wear their diaper is that i pretty much never get peed on yeah i've heard of many photographers 
will get peed on. If the parents really, really, really want a photo of their baby not wearing a diaper, maybe like holding their hands close to the baby on top of like a black drop, on top of a black backdrop, like on the beanbag, I could say, okay, we can do a photo uh, without the diaper. Um, I'm not gonna publish that photo on my website, on my like social media. I don't want anyone to do something bad with the photos that I take of my newborns. Um, of course, there's always a chance because there are many creeps out there. I'm not gonna post a newborn on the internet without their diaper on. Sometimes it really looks like they're not wearing a diaper, but then the whole diaper area is covered with like a nice wrap, just a piece of fabric little outfit and if the diaper area is bothering you like the diaper just shows like it's very big in the photo um, you can liquefy it in photoshop use the puppet uh, warp tool or you can just ask the parents if they want to put a smaller diaper on the newborn because like i don't know if the sizes are all international but i think most newborns when they come into the studio they wear diapers size one because that's what you can buy in stores it's very easy to find and that's just what most newborns wear but it can still look pretty big on a newborn and really show underneath an outfit so then like here in the studio i have diapers size zero and then i ask parents if they're okay uh, putting a diaper size zero on their baby so that the diaper doesn't really show that much in the photo and usually they are i mean if the newborn is too big for a diaper size zero of course you're not going to put it on it can really help to make sure that you don't really have this big diaper showing in the photos my stuff stays very clean as well i mean i still wash my stuff but um it doesn't get destroyed yeah because baby poo can be quite hard to wash out of certain things so what do you guys do? Do you have babies wear their diaper? Or do you photograph without a diaper? How does that work for you? <laughs> okay, I'm not the best at sewing. This shouldn't show anyway in the photo. I do have a sewing machine. You could do it with a sewing machine. But my sewing machine does not like me. Somehow the thread always breaks. Whether I tighten it or loosen it, I don't know. Me and my sewing machine, we don't get along. You can also just buy this fabric, I think, per meter somewhere by the yard, I guess. <laughs> uh, like online or on like a fabric market. Make sure that you wash it first. I mean, you could use different colors because babies have different skin colors as well. As long as it kind of matches their skin tone. I'm gonna make more than one, of course. But this is just my first try to see if the size is good. Um, and then if it's good, I can just easily make more because of course I will wash them in between newborns as well. So then, I mean, sometimes I have two, three newborns on one day. So I need to have a few diaper covers. I do twins as well, of course. So. I should get more than just one. But anyway, this is it. The finished product, my little diaper cover here we go it's uh, very stretchy i can always open up these leg holes if i notice that they're on the small side it's not like a perfect diaper cover okay so i'm setting up for the newborn session with the little boy the mom has chosen neutral colors um so like the beige sand color um and then also off white she likes the light colors so i have that backdrop underneath uh, so i can just easily take this one off and then use the white one and then as far as wraps and layers she likes uh, to add a little bit of blue in there as well so i'm just gonna grab a few more blue items maybe a little hat and then after the beanbag i will go to the basket and then the flocati somewhere there <laughs> there and the newborn is bringing his big brother as well well the grandparents are actually dropping off the big brother like the last half hour of the shoot the last 45 minutes so we could take some photos of the brothers together and the grandparents want to be in a photo as well 
um, and the mom of course with her two sons uh, so yes I'm just setting up So I just finished my newborn session, the second one of today, with the little boy and I used the diaper cover again. Uh, I filmed a little bit as well during the shoot. So it's really nice when you wrap the baby um, that there's no diaper showing. The diaper cover is way easier to edit out because when it shows like the little line, uh, you can just brush it away and then the diaper cover has almost the same color as the skin so it's easier to edit out um, than a real diaper um, so yeah beautiful little boy was sleeping was awake his big brother came they were on the photo together um, so yeah just lovely to photograph now I am uh, heading home it's 4 30 so uh, I'm gonna spend some time with the family and then tonight I'm gonna edit the photos and then tomorrow I'll send the clients the preview and then within two weeks they get the link to their gallery where they can select their images. So yes, thank you so much for watching. It would be great if you would leave a comment, maybe give a like, uh, like the video a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel. That would be really cool. I have some really cool more videos coming up about photography, inside, outside. The wedding season is starting again. Um, so I might flock when I'm photographing a wedding. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to my channel and then I'll see you in the comments. Bye bye!